SIGRA measures in situ rock stress primarily by the use of its proprietary in situ stress tool, which operates by the overcoring method concurrently with HQ coring from the surface. It's suitable for holes up to a depth of 2,000 metres for mining, civil and petroleum engineering purposes. At the test depth, the last HQ core run is pulled as normal. A special countersink tool is pumped in place of the inner barrel and is used to grind any upstanding core away, leaving a cone depression in the top of the rock immediately below the HQ bit face mark. The countersink tool is retrieved on a wire line and replaced by a pilot hole drill. This is used to drill a 500mm long by 25.5mm diameter pilot hole. Once this has been drilled and flushed, the pilot hole drill is removed by wire line. The stress tool is then lowered on a wire line suspended setting tool through the drill string and into the pilot hole. The stress tool locks in place in the pilot hole using a mechanical wedge system. The tool measures the pilot hole diameter at six locations through the action of pins, which press against the pilot hole wall. The remainder of the stress tool protrudes upwards from the pilot hole and contains an orientation system comprising of three magnetometers, three accelerometers and a temperature sensor. It also contains a logging system to record the diameter measurements across the pins and the orientation devices. Once the stress tool is locked in place, the setting tool is withdrawn by the wire line. The inner barrel is then dropped back into the rods. The drill string is then pulled back so that the magnetometers may operate free from its influence on the magnetic field. After a set period, the rods are lowered to the bottom and coring commences over the tool. As the bit progresses past the sets of pins located in the pilot hole, a change in pilot hole diameter is measured by the tool. At the end of a one metre core run, the core is pulled as normal, but with the tool inside. When on the surface, the tool and core are photographed and the tool is then extracted from the core. The overcore material is wrapped and sent to the laboratory for the measurement of Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio and uniaxial compressive strength. Data stored within the stress tool is extracted to a laptop and processed. The delivered report includes a material test report, stress and tectonic strain analysis, and the ratio of material stress strengths. As orientation of the tool is measured, the direction of the principal stresses can be found as well as their magnitude. SIGRA will also endeavour to interpret the stress regime.